Now we will see another problem under sink inclusion. Draw the projection of a square prism of size 30 by 60 with solid diagonal vertical. Okay. For a square prism, there are four solid diagonals. Okay. The solid diagonal in the sense uh, the top face is a square and the base is a square. Okay. So the uh, diagonal line passing through one corner of the top face and it connects the other opposite corner in the base. That is nothing but the solid diagonal. Okay. So one solid diagonal will be vertical that is perpendicular to x, y. Okay. So for that what you have to draw, uh, uh, what you have to do, first you draw a square in top view first. Okay. This way. Okay. I will tell you why when I draw the corresponding front view. I, that time only will come to know. Alright. So draw a square which is equally inclined to uh, uh, x, y. Okay. Draw the corresponding front view. Now there are uh, four, uh, four solid diagonals. That is you can join a dash with 3 dash, c dash with 1 dash, b dash with 4 dash, d dash with 2 dash. Okay. Let us say a dash 3 dash. It is a one solid diagonal. The corresponding other way you see that the line journey a and c. You see here the line a c is parallel to x y. If the line AC is parallel to XY, that is top view of the solid diagonal here. Okay. This is the front view of the solid diagonal. Here, the top view of the solid diagonal is parallel to XY. That means parallel to VB. Then only in front view, the corresponding solid diagonal A dash, 3 dash will show the true length. Okay. That is why you have to draw the square in top view this way. Now, the first set of uh, top view and front view is over. The, how to get the solution? You have to tilt this front view such that a dash 3 dash is vertical. That means the solid diagonal is vertical. Okay. So we will see that in step by step. First, first make the solid diagonal vertical. Okay. Take the height using the compass and set the height. Now this sil solid diagonal is vertical now with respect to this mark the points of the solid how to mark it for example how to mark the point c dash if you consider 3 dash a dash c dash as triangle okay uh, draw uh, by taking this as radius 3 dash as center you can draw arc here by taking this a, c, a dash c dash uh, as radius a dash as center you can cut an arc here so if you, that way you can get mark the point c dash similarly here with a dash as center a 1 dash as radius draw this arc then with 3 dash as center, 3 dash, 1 dash as radius, cut arc. Thereby you can get and transfer the point 1 dash. Follow the same thing for the C dash also. Okay. Now this, these three, two edges are drawn. Okay. After that, you can follow the, 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 the thing that I said just before. Or you can using the set square, you can draw the remaining uh, edges. Right. Now the final front view is over. And you know how to... Uh, get the points for the uh, in the final top view by drawing projectors and horizontal lines okay so do this way now to get this view the observer to see this from here for this observer the top face is nearer so a1 b1 c1 d1 uh, edges are completely visible and then the boundary edges are visible to get this view, the observer has to see this from this end. For this observer, point 3 dash is far off. So, the three uh, edges uh, that are uh, passing, that are connecting the point 3 dash, you know, that is not visible here. So, that means uh, 3, 2, 3, 4 and uh, 3C. These three are not visible. Okay. These three are hidden. This is the answer.